Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. You'll probably recognise this little setup from my previous um, video where I did a bit of a shop with me at Primark, but today's video I thought I would um, bring you along for the kind of the rest of the day. I've got some errands to run, I'm at the Trafford Centre in Manchester. But yeah, I've got ready for the day and I also very kindly have a sponsor for today and I thought I would just introduce the sponsor at this section of the video because I have such an incredible discount that I wanted to mention it as soon as we got into this video so that you don't miss out. You can get some huge savings and discounts on my vitamins with my discount code FREYA. I will leave it linked down in the description box below um, and like the information with the code and everything. Essentially, October is the month of breast cancer awareness it is something that I think is so important to talk about it's so important to work together with brands that also help promote and bring in an awareness around checking yourselves every month I know they're working with Copperfield as well which is a charity that does exactly that and they've collaborated to create the um, hair skin and nail gummies which I already love and take every single day along with an array of other vitamins that I really enjoy. These limited edition ones have like cool funky packaging and the actual vitamins themselves. They contain biotin for hair health which I swear by. I've been noticing a lot of like almost regrowth of breakage for my hair like underneath and around the sides. It's almost like little baby hairs. Great for that but it's also got vitamin C in for collagen formulation which we all know we stop producing from around 25 onwards. So a vitamin that I already know and love, take every day and and the fact that they're in the gummy form as well is literally like just taking a sweet. It's honestly like a little treat in the morning. I usually have my breakfast, have my cup of coffee, and then have my little vitamins. And I have actually ordered some new ones. I always take gut gummies, which again, another gummy. Um, and then I also have the apple cider vinegar gummies, which if you've ever tried to have apple cider vinegar straight, oh, it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. So to be able to have it in a gummy form, ideal and another new addition within my daily intake is ashwagandha isn't new in my daily intake but the fact that they now do ashwagandha gummies as well so i personally did a bit of research into supplements and vitamins around helping manage stress levels, anxiety and things like that probably about a year ago now. Ashwagandha was one of the top things that I kept reading about and another one that I like to take is magnesium and vitamin D3 that work alongside each other again to help with tiredness, fatigue, stresses, anxieties and yeah they have been my daily intakes for quite some time now. I will leave that discount code Freya in the description box. You can also get 25% discount off the Copperfield um, range of hair skin and nail gummies with that discount code as well, along with many other savings to be had across their website. So be sure to use it, enjoy, let me know which products you buy for yourself. I am gonna head on into the shops now, have a little browse, have a mooch around, bring you along with me for the day yeah thank you to my vitamins for very kindly sponsoring today's video without further ado let's get on with the video so i'm going to start with home sense it's at the like um plaza side it's called i think barton arcade yeah i'm going to start with home sense first because you will see when i get home that i have had a sofa delivery and i popped out my ikea rug that i got in my ikea shop with me if you saw it so the front room is ready for a bit more styling i want some kind of like side table i'm even thinking maybe like a plinth or something i can have lamps vases candles whatever it may be so home sense is the first stop So this is the sort of size of the table that I'm after. Hold on, let me just, there we go. Um, but I'm not sure on this color marble. It's like obviously quite a dark gray. And seeing as though that front room is black, I'm thinking light furniture, maybe even wooden, but we will see. But yeah, that sort of size is perfect. I never usually shop for like a furniture that I'm actually looking for specific things, like a specific space in the house. 
So yeah, I'm looking at home sets with a whole new perspective. Now that I'm having a look at tables, see I like that, but that's more like a bedside table, I think. Maybe that kind of wood and rustic kind of finish, maybe even with like legs like that. But obviously because this is square, this is very much giving bedside table and I definitely want round. That one's definitely too warm, like more like a walnut, warmer wood. Um, so yeah, still looking. This is nice though, just spotted this. From afar, this bars, twelve ninety nine. Oh my god! Look at the size of these cush cushions for Christmas. These massive baubles at twenty four ninety nine, and then look at those Christmas trees. They're amazing. I don't know where I'd put them, but yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. They are huge. I don't know if it's even showing on camera how big they are, but. Imagine that, like for me, that would be like in a kid's bedroom because it's soft, it's not going to hurt them. And then they've also got these smaller cushions, um, like little sweets, gingerbread, $16.99, little polar bear. I love the kind of vintage look to these sort of cushions. This one's from the farmhouse with like a Santa Claus on $12.99. What's this one? Oh yeah, again, another kind of like vintage Santa. I feel like Christmas is definitely in full force in all the stores now. Another thing we can start looking for as well is um, artwork. And I'm thinking some kind of canvas artwork, quite a large sized one. Um, just something more like that though, with a bit of texture to it. That one's $49.99, although what does that say? Customer left behind and it's been paid for by Debs, never mind. Really nice though. There's a few more side tables here. Again, they've got marble, still thinking circular, but the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking maybe not marble, um, unless if I just find one with the right kind of warm tone to it, but that one's $79.99. This one's nice, all wood, only $49.99, but again, it's quite yellowy toned, orangey toned, quite warm. So I am gonna leave it, but something like that would be lovely if it was in the right tone. gorgeous is this I'm loving these kind of like globes that you shake I just I don't know why I feel like they're quite nostalgic and I like the fact that this one just has like a wooden look base two little Christmas trees not glittery at all it's just nice simple white snow and two little deers $14.99 that one this is quite scandy $6.99 These are gorgeous. You've got um, side plates at $3.99 with this kind of like Christmassy design on. And then they even do like Christmas tree shaped ones, the larger dinner plates as well. I just think, oh, I think they're gorgeous. How much the big, the big ones are $5.99. They do the kind of like server platter ones. There's like an oval one back there. These are fun little cookie jars as well for Christmas. I feel like I'm full on Christmas at the minute in my vlogs because it's like stores have put all the autumn bits away. $12.99 for that cookie jar. I have also shown recently in vlogs the snow cap anthropology mug dupes. This is another design. I've got the Christmas tree one, but these are $4.99 and the anthropology ones very similar, but with an initial. I think they usually retail for about 15. They also now sell Emma Bridgewater mugs for $14.99. So there's like a scary night owl, the love one. There's a mum one there. Another one over here, Queen Elizabeth. Quite the selection. I've also spotted this, which is kind of along the same lines as those mugs down there, but just obviously different shape. 
quite like a distressed neutral coloured Christmas mug that's not like obviously Christmas if you like subtle Christmas then there's that. I feel like while I'm in the traffic centre it'd be rude not to have a look at H&M seeing as though they have a H&M home here. So we are here H&M oh loud music but I'm seeing lots of neutral. Okay, we are in the H&M changing rooms. I've got a couple of bits that I've pulled in to try on. A couple of sale finds actually. I had a quick browse on the sale rails. Five pounds, this little ribbed vest, which I thought would just be such a good staple for like under jackets like this, shirts like this, or even um, like cardigans, you know, just for around the house. I always find like I'm lacking vests. This vest that I'm wearing is H&M as well, love it. I'll leave this one linked and then I'll try and link all of these items as well if they're available online. But these are like six or seven pounds and so many of you ask about bra straps. So I have a little like clip, I'll leave them linked below what I use to clip the straps at the back to make it a racer back style so that you can wear a bra and the straps aren't on show but anyway H&M and then this is actually an old like flannel shirt from Girl of Muse Gemma's brand and um I've just gotten some leggings these are my these are my Lululemon jupe leggings the cheaper options so again I'll leave these linked because I get quite a lot of questions about where you can get the cheaper alternative to Lululemon so this is them and I'll leave them linked along with my new Veja trainers, which I've been literally living in and loving. But anyway, back to H&M bits. So I've got that staple little base set. Also saw this in the cell. There's only one and it's in the large. It's probably gonna be too big, but I'll try it anyway. I thought even layered up with like hoodies and stuff in winter, but just to have a nice plaid check autumn neutral toned jacket would be lovely and yeah 60 pounds that one is in the sale for this is new in and they had like loads of sizes available but i went for a small 27.99 but it's a really lovely thick rib fabric so i'm going to try that on and show you what that one looks like i think they had other colors of that one as well and then this is a bit cheaper um and a slightly softer fabric this one feels a little dressier um, but yeah, this one's got really nice neckline and I love the kind of neutral creamy colour of that. And then, last but not least, this good little staple knit, $27.99 in a medium. This one, it's got the slight split at the back of the neck so it's not going to choke you, even though it's high neck. And it's in this lovely kind of camel colour. Lighting's not the best, but we'll try them on anyway so you can see what they look like on me. But I really like the length of this and the fact that it's slit, so it's not going to like cling and be unflattering. It's just going to fall quite nicely over like leggings and maybe some boots as well. Okay, this is what the first knit looks like. And you can see better with it being on what that slit looks like. It's a little, I don't know, a little like, ugh. So I would say size up. Okay, this is the cheaper of the two, like, scoop neck tops. I don't know how it, I feel about it. I feel like this one I would struggle with a bra. You'd have to probably just wear a strapless bra with it or just go braless. But um, the actual material of it is lovely. Really nice and soft for a knit. I'll try on this one for comparison. Yeah, of the two, this one definitely feels like a dressier kind of fabric. Um, really nice. It's also like stark white, this one, which I prefer the other colour. The kind of off-white creamier colour. Um, but this one looks like on for reference. This one's a lot tighter on the sleeves as well. Whereas this one kind of... If you can see that it kind of flares at the end. Yeah, I could probably have done with a medium in this vest, but because it's sale and it's the last one, I'm still going to get it anyway because I just think it's a nice little staple that, again, for mostly for like around the house or as like a layer. I really wish they had this in a small or a medium because the large is just too big for me. And it's one of those jackets you can't roll up the sleeves because it's got this 
um, or you can't see it here, but on the sleeves, the liner is like a satiny fabric, so it's like completely different, so you can't just roll them up. Um, but I love the length of it, the fact that it's got pockets, I just think it's so cosy, and I love it, but it's too big. So I'm going to have a look online as well, see if I can find this one in a smaller size, because it's 60 compared to 100, it's quite a saving. Okay, so we're done in H&M. I'm just gonna go into Zara next to see what they've got. So I thought I'd do a little voiceover taking you through some of the things that I saw in Zara. Pleasantly surprised, very much so, because a lot of things were very tonal. There were lots of camel colors, creams, khakis, all the neutral vibes, lots of beige, which you'll see in these clips. Um, there, were, there were quite like big hues, so I decided to just take note of a few uh, barcodes and stuff ready for maybe popping in an order sometime soon, and then I can maybe do like a proper try on sort of sat down haul uh, back at home. But yeah, enjoy some of these clips, take note of these barcodes. I'll try and leave these items linked below as well for you in the description box. Um, but yeah, overall, very impressed with Zara. Next up, I headed over to Bath & Body Works. I saw some new in bits for autumn, which was so exciting. They had quite a few items, actually. I wasn't sure if they would have lots or not, but apparently there is more uh, to come, which will probably be in stores now. But yeah, I then followed nicely into Lush afterwards. Again, they had some autumn goodies for Halloween, nice bath bombs and stuff. I feel like when you go in there, it just smells incredible. Can you see them marks on my arms? <laughs> I'm carrying all them bags. I just pit stopped as well for a very much needed, you can't even see me that properly, um, Starbucks. That's why I'm just gonna open the windows for it because it's quite warm today. I got the pumpkin cold brew, never tried it before. I also asked for some of the maple crunch topping. Ooh. It's sweet, but it's not sickly at all. I think because the coffee's quite strong. I mean, it looks well mixed now, but when I first got it, it was like black with just the pumpkin cold foam. I think that's what it's called, pumpkin cold brew. Cold foam brew, something like that. Mmm. <laughs> they can't do it decaf though. That's the only thing. So I might be wired later. <laughs> Put a new Invisalign in yesterday. My teeth are a little bit sensitive. It's always like the day that you have your Invisalign in, and the new one feels tight so even like crunching on them I'm like oh I'm also having a little bit of lunch in the car for a tuna panini mm, mm, mm. wow <laughs> it's a lot of bread and not much tuna at the minute 
Um, I also wanted to just say hello to Victoria. Thank you so much for coming up and saying hello to me in Bath and Body Works. It was so lovely to meet you. I honestly, guys, it makes my day if I get to chat to some of you. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming and saying hello. Although it still baffles me that the numbers are actual people. <laughs> I think it's so easy in this industry to just see a figure and not relate it to the fact that there's that many people actually watching. So when I do get to meet you, it's like, wow, people actually watch my videos. <laughs> when all I'm really doing is sitting in my car, in the car park, eating a Starbucks panini. But, you know. Okay, well, I'm going to finish eating this. And then Tom said he's going to cook us something for tea tonight. He's gonna to spend some time cooking. He was out at meeting this morning and then I knew I was coming here so Barney's in daycare today <clears throat> and they're sending me um, photos. <laughs> I love it when they do that. You know that he's having a good time. They also did say when I dropped him off about the fox incident, if you followed along on Instagram, the fox incident, you will know. Sad but also like a good thing in a way. But essentially we, um, sorry, I just had to pause filming there because I've got my windows open and someone was coming into the car next to me and I just, I thought I can't not talk and it looked like I'm just filming myself eating <laughs> or talk and catch their attention to what it was that I was doing, which is vlogging in my car. But anyway, why is it that as vloggers, I feel like anyone that is watching this that has a YouTube channel or has vlogged in public before or whatever just gets it it's a weird even not even like because it's strangers if anything you'd think that'd be easier but like or even people that you know and love you just get camera shy speaking in front of people uh, but anyway as we're saying the fox incident which you will have probably seen if you follow along on Instagram but basically we Barney alerted us to something in the garden and Tom came in saying he's going mental at that like he's just staying and like staring at this bush and won't come in and I was like right well go see what it is so anyway I said Barney come on show me what it is and took him back outside and he ran straight to the corner of our garden which is kind of like connects onto someone else's garden so it's very overgrown there's like broken fence panels there's like this green plastic netting thing which essentially has just got intertwangled intertangled intertwangled in this devil's ivy which just grows like crazy so we didn't even see it there and um this fox had its head stuck through one of those green netting hole things so obviously as soon as i saw it well for, for one i thought it was dead at first and at first i thought it was a cat i could just see some fluff and i was like <gasps> In my heart I thought that's someone's pet cat in my heart and then I saw its ears look different and I was trying to get a better view and thought maybe it's a rabbit that's been caught who knows how long it's been there and then I saw the fluffy tail and I was like oh my god it's a fox <laughs> And I was like, good boy, Barney. And he wasn't going over anything. He was just there with me. And so um, I sort of turned around and I said, Tom, there's like, a, I thought it was dead because it was just lifeless. And I, I, there's a fox. And so he came out and then it moved. And I was like, oh my God, it's alive. 
which is good but a it's choking so we need to do something and i was like what do we do what do we do um so i took barney back inside was googling like who to call for a trapped fox there was someone local to manchester called the fox man or something that i called him voicemail called the a wildlife place near us and they said we can't come and release them but try this number try the rspca try both of them went to voicemail rspca got through to someone and they said that they will put it through as an emergency because of the circumstance but that they couldn't tell me when someone would come and i was like okay well, will it be today and she was like i don't know so i thought oh my god it's potentially not even going to be today and this fox is choking so Tom took the initiative and went to the local vets, which is not too far away, told them they came over, thank the Lord, and managed to, they basically gave him a little bit of sedation, him, her, because we found out it was a female fox, gave the fox a bit of sedation, and it's crazy how quickly the sedation takes effect, because um, within about 30 to 60 seconds we were cutting it free, cutting around its neck, the vet checked it for any other injuries which i was like thank thankful for because i thought if it's cut into its neck or something it did have a little cut on its lip but that's from where it was trying to chew itself out but it was fine it was like tiny and um yeah apart from that everything was all good we did reverse sedation they injected her with reverse sedation we put her near an area where we could get where she would basically get free and go to like this woodland bit behind us which is probably where she came from. And we just watched her come around whilst we were making sure that all of that green netting has gone. And we really need to, obviously, like our garden is not, it is a hazardous garden as it is. It's very much building site garden still. It's the last stage of our renovation project. So there's lots of like broken fence panels, wire, grids, whatever. It's just, even stuff that has been there from before we moved in, it's just very much, overgrown hazardous not a nice place for wildlife and i just the thought of another one getting trapped i was like right let's get rid of that green netting as much as we can and we hacked it all back borrowed our neighbor's shears to get it through long story short we would have never found poor mrs fox had barney not have alerted us so they just know so will message me saying had it been a squirrel would it have been a different outcome yes don't think he would have alerted us if it was a squirrel i think he would have potentially brought it back in <laughs> um but yeah it was so nice that the vets bless them helped us and to be fair to rspca pretty much as soon as the vets they must have been with us for about half an hour to an hour in total trying to decide what to do then going back to get the sedation get scissors towels these gloves to protect them pretty much as soon as she started coming around the RSPC called and said I could be within with you within 15 minutes and I was like and so obviously I just told him that luckily our vets have managed to free her but yeah that's my fox story I am gonna finish my lunch now and I'll see you guys when we get back home I've got a few bags of things to show you actually didn't pick up loads but there are a few things in there so I'm back home now I thought I'd show you just a couple of housey updates firstly we're having our staircase redone so we're just at the stage at the minute of trying to like sand back and get everything smooth ready for painting and we have decided that we're going to go for um all of these to be white but then keep the handrails and the posts black and then that section there just needs filling and painting white as well so we're having all of the corridors redone as well you can see up there whereby that line on the wall we've had um, like any kind of bits that need re repainting up there, properly filling it, sanding it back and painting it. So that is the update with painting and decorating. And then, oh, look, we have sofas and, well, sofa and an armchair. These were very kindly gifted from housing units. You may remember I actually went to an event with them and it was through speaking to them at the event that they said... I was able to get one of their brand new, I think this is called the Paloma set, 
gorgeous it's like a boucle fabric um really nice and luxurious this room being the kind of like cozy room with it being dark walls we've got a fireplace there ready to be lit i can't wait until it's this season where we get this lit i feel like it's just not far off to be honest with you but just not quite cold enough yet and obviously we have our tv that's been on the wall for ages ready to ready to go and i've popped the rug which i got from ikea if you remember my ikea video i think this is called the stoence rug that's gonna get some good hoover lines i already know it and that really excites me because our carpet upstairs is like a thick loop wool one that you don't get lines like that so this excites me anyway um yeah that is what the sofa and chair looks like from this angle having looked at this now I did think in this window i was torn between whether or not we were gonna get, sorry, that's the hoover upstairs, the painter. <laughs> painter's just hoovering up. Um, I wasn't sure whether or not we'd get like a love seat in this window or an armchair. This is obviously an armchair. And they are quite thick arms, so that's probably why this one fits quite nicely. But yeah, having seen this, I'm quite glad we just went for an armchair rather than love seat. And then obviously, during the Christmas period, the festive period, we will probably move this chair to make way for the Christmas tree in that bay window. So we've cleared out this room in here somewhere maybe. Even if it's just like temporarily, if we just pop it somewhere in here. These are all the shopping bags that I brought home with me. So, didn't find a table at home since today, but I'm thinking somewhere here to have, now that you know the space, you can see what I mean, some kind of circular table here just for like coffee, you can pop a lamp there. And then over this side, we can either have some kind of units within here, like matching units, maybe in like a nice aged wood, or we could keep these as decorative. We could do on this side like a plinth with the option of having like a vase and then maybe this side like a small olive tree and a basket or something i don't know what do you guys think any suggestions by all means let me know as for this sofa <gasps> what do we think i can't believe we finally got a sofa the other thing is like some kind of coffee table or footstool in here i'm thinking coffee table and i'm thinking possibly another reclaimed wood from still and blue you know our our dining table mini console which i might get another one for out here as well for by the front door but i'm thinking maybe we could get another still and blue because i love them that much coffee table in here the other option would be some kind of bone or marble that maybe kind of ties in with the fireplace. Maybe that'd be a bit too much beige though. Or do we go for something like a pin cushioned um, rectangular or square large footstool slash coffee table so that we can use it as both. Um, and we can have like a trail now with a nice coffee table book. Um, Especially if we're going to have a little table here for coffees, we could do that. I feel like I'll sit down now and share with you the bits that I did buy from the shops and I'll sit down in front of my new sofa. Okay, we are sat in the black room for once. Very unusual this. Um, but I thought I would sit down and share with you the bits that I picked up from today. I did also come home to a couple of PR parcels, so I'll show you those afterwards. But um, in fact, I'll show you this, which I, it wasn't a PR pass, I ordered this on pre-order from Amazon. Again, I'll leave it linked along with my Amazon storefront where I've got all of my kind of fave home purchases, books, even fashion finds, like my Lulu dupe leggings. Uh, but this book I got on pre-order, it looks gorgeous. It's called The Art of Home. And she breaks it down into um, different workspaces, bedrooms, bathrooms, utility spaces, living rooms, kitchens, and there are some gorgeous um, images in here, just beautifully uh, decorated homes that I just thought, oh, I mean, look at that for major inspo for a bedroom. I just feel like I wanna have a flick through this and decorate the entire house. Another book that I got, and we'll start with the home sense bits. I did get one other book from here. Now, it was slightly damaged and it's the only one they had. So, they took 20% off for me. So. It was retail price of £30 and I got this for just 8 The little 
bit of damage on the front there. It is annoying, but it's also one of those things that I feel like this styled up, you're not really gonna be able to notice and um, yeah, I just thought again. Another coffee table book with like a hint of green, this one. So again, goes quite nicely in our home. And this book is more about sort of indoor plants and how they can dress your space. Like, look how beautiful that is. Honestly, imagery and coffee table books like this, I feel like I get the most inspo from home and interiors related books. Love them. I actually read them. It's not just for aesthetics. I love a good flick through. Um, I usually make myself a nice coffee, get a couple of biscuits and have a good flick through them. So yeah, I ordered that, ordered that, bought that. I did also see these on the checkout, which I decided to get just 2 dollars shiitake mushroom crisps and sea salt they had spicy i wanted sea salt these i'm hoping fingers crossed are going to be like the ones that i get at costco which no longer are sold at costco if you know you know i've talked about them before but they were so delicious that yeah the last couple of times i've been in costco and not seen them been disappointed so hopefully they're the same then how can you go to home sense without getting a candle so I did pick up one candle from HomeSense in this uh, glass container, which is beautiful. Again, it goes well with our house. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera there, but it the actual glass is like a really dark green. Can you see? I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's in the scent, oh, it smells so good. It's in the scent leaves. It's one of the DW Home Scents, and these, is it DW Home? makers of wax goods fragrance made in the usa yes yeah, in the scent leaves <laughs> I feel like i've said that about a thousand times which it's very earthy like it smells like a forest and i feel like this would be nice throughout autumn and winter the green one that i've got currently in our kitchen is nearly out and that was one from asda in like woodland or something it was called so when that one burns out i think i'll replace it with this because i do like to have a pop of green in a candle on that little section on that tray on my on the uh console table what else did i get oh yeah i got these to put in the black unit here or even in the front room but on the shelves somewhere i thought these would make nice additions we've got quite a few larger photo frames but i thought these were perfect they're tiny little miniature ones and um, these ones were 7.99 and it's a set of two that is just like it stands like a book so you can just pop tiny little photos in there i'll probably get some little black and white polaroid style photos of like me tom and barney or something in them but yeah that one's 7.99 and then to kind of complement it probably go in another shelf somewhere is this single standalone one and it is literally on a little stand at 3.99 this one just a single photo that i thought together these would work really nicely and just yeah a nice little addition to the faffy bits on the shelves so that's everything that i got from home sense from h&m they didn't unfortunately have the jacket in a lot they only had that one large in store but we had a look online whilst we were there and they are in the sale online and they do have them in small medium and large so i will leave it linked i will probably purchase it myself i don't know whether to go for the small or the medium though because it felt quite oversized already and then yeah the only thing that i picked up clothing wise was this ribbed vest that i showed you for five pounds in the sale and i also picked up these because i thought they would be really handy to have and i don't have any this color um little like silk scrunchies at 4.99 i say silk 62 percent recycled polyester but you know what i mean it feels like a silky scrunchie a bit like the slip ones um but yeah in cream i've only got them in pink and i just feel like i don't like wearing a pink hair bubble so i end up sticking with my normal blonde bubbles but i do quite like the idea of wearing silk bubbles because it's meant to be better for your hair bath and body works i did pop in and had a look and he did say when I was buying the items, he said that um, tomorrow they were getting, so by the time you're watching this video, they'll already be in store, but tomorrow they're getting the Halloween bits. And I thought they already had quite a few good like autumn range of things in, but apparently not. Apparently more Halloween stuff is to come. So we might have to pop back in, but for now, I picked up these two hand soaps, which were 10 pounds. 
and I obviously went for the seasonal one in pumpkin pecan waffles these are the cleansing gel hand soaps they foam up really nice and they smell so strong wash your hands and the whole room smells of the scent so yeah i think he said that he might be getting hand gels in this scent tomorrow um but then i also picked up this i thought this would be like a good all year round gel, but um because it doesn't like look very seasonal but this one is new in basil leaf and apple and that apple that comes through is again so strong but it's a real like clean scent with that basil oh, it's just lovely the candles are kind of pricey from bath and body works but i just feel like they're cult classics that especially this one you've just got to get one at the start of autumn every year and it's in the scent leaves they had the original kind of leaves packaging but then this special edition one i just thought looked beautiful so i went for it from white barn so leaves is golden nectar red apple clove spice oh gosh it's so strong three wick i think that's why i like the bath and body works candles so much is because they are so strong so there was a pumpkin one pumpkin spice or something or other clove pumpkin clove i think it was too whoa that's pumpkin <laughs> for me um, but this one, the leaves scent is just beautiful. Sweater weather is another good one for this time of the year. But anyway, that is everything that I got from Bath and Body Works. Last but not least, from MS, just a couple of bits, just a couple of essentials, really. <laughs> you may have heard me talk about these in my Hello October segment that I did with my monthly favourites. These outrageously chocolatey from MS milk chocolate coated bourbon creams and those other ones the custard creams so delicious i got a pack of each for here but then i'm also going to see my family this weekend and spend some time with them and i know my dad's gonna love these and it's my dad and brother's birthday on the same day i feel like i can't leave my brother out so i thought i would pick him up one as well and then popped into lakeland and their deluxe moisturizing gloves that you guys know i love and rave about these white washing up gloves i know it sounds a bit extreme to be raving about washing up gloves but if you've tried these you will know these are ordinarily 4.99 each and they were on buy one get one half price so i picked up two of those then that's everything i got from the shops but i did get again some pr parcels which i thought i would open up with you firstly glossy box for the month we've got a very mysterious looking cover this month uh, discover mystical beauty adventures it's called i love it when a glossy box has some chocolate in it's like an extra little treat so cadbury's dairy milk fruitier and nuttier trail mix my favorite budget moisturizer the nivea soft cream a little retinol boost from neutrogena revolution power fix mist from pixie a little brow tamer brow gel the what's in it for me body cleanser that sounds nice rosemary leaf extract a vegan original skin essence toner and then lastly heat protection shine mist from be perfect this package made me so happy i've already had a quick sneak peek inside and it's from one of my favorite home brands home centered product brands that was a mouthful neon neon have introduced a brand new candle brand new scent in the scent hibernate if that is not the scent of this season then i don't know what is so in this little care package that they've sent over not only have they sent that candle they've also sent a little box of neon matches they've also sent a from rhythm a vegan chocolate peanut butter cookie delish might have that later and some cozy socks lamb's wool bed socks oh divine so the new scent is it's got vanilla cedarwood and patchouli in and as soon as i opened this you're hit with that vanilla it's quite sweet for neon i feel like neon scents are quite um very spa like when you smell any of their scents they are quite spa like and these this one in particular is definitely it's not sweet in a sickly way though it's that vanilla the vanilla is quite strong but lovely really really nice so yeah thank you so much to neon for that package and then another one l'oreal look at this hold on let me just 
some, oh yeah, I knew I was gonna hit myself in the face. This is, what do they call this? The Hidden Gems of L'Oreal Paris. They're not very hidden because these are like, I'd say cult classics that a lot of people um, rave about. So we've got, hold on, let me just do it the other way so that I can see. Hidden Gems of Affordable Beauty. We've got the Midnight Serum. I've never tried that one before. This is the current SPF that I'm actually using. It's the Revitalift Clinical Anti-UV Fluid 50 Plus. Revitalift Filler. I'm gonna try this because I really enjoy the Revitalift range and that SPF that I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. It's a plumping water cream. The fact that it's a water cream is what I think I'm gonna like because I don't like a moisturizer that feels really thick and cakey. So anyway, True Match L'Oreal Foundation. Never tried that either and that looks like a pretty good shade for me. They've also sent the infallible 24 hour concealer. This I love, I don't know what it's called, but it's a lip gloss. But yeah, really like that. And then there's also a lipstick in there. This is the Bond Repair range, which I have currently that I'm loving. I've got like a serum that I put in, like on towel dried hair, and then also their shampoo and conditioner. It smells so nice. And then L'Oreal Elna Extra Stronghold, that's just a classic. Again, I feel like everyone and their mum and their grandma has used L'Oreal Elna hairspray. And then this one I'm intrigued by because I have tried this before, but it's like a root cover, but it's blonde, hence the intrigue. I'm not sure if blonde is gonna be the right color for me because although I am obviously blonde, my roots are like a naturally a bit darker even though I'm blonde. And quite often the blonde shades, like for instance with like brow pencils, whatever, they're quite warm toned, whereas my hair's quite ashy and cool toned, even my natural root. So yeah, I'll see how I get on with that. But otherwise I've tried this before in like a light brown, I think it was, and it was good. So it's good for me for um, a receding hairline sounding like grandma here but when I wear my hair up can you see like my hairline goes quite far back it's it, it there is hair there but it's so fair and it's baby hairs that it just um yeah I've got a big forehead basically and if you want to kind of like fill in a bit there so that you can kind of bring your hairline down a bit like all the Kardashians do let me just say otherwise if you have a naturally smaller forehead you're very lucky. Um, but yeah, these are good for that too. And plus I do have a few grains, but we won't talk about that. We've got like a natural, I'm talking about it. We've got a natural like dark patch this side of my parting. That's why I wear my part on the other side because when the root grows out, it's really obvious here. But it is kind of counteracting itself because that dark patch is getting gray. And it's just this one little patch here but actually the fact that it's getting gray hairs does lighten it. So it kind of does do the reverse of like, rather than a thick dark root growing out, having a bit of gray in there, I'm embracing it. I'm enjoying it. But anyway, that is everything that I bought in the shops today. I feel like I might actually close off this vlog here because it's pretty lengthy. Oh no, you're sat on a PR package. Let me just show you this one first. Pixie sent me this package, which has, I haven't actually looked at this yet, five essentials, five minutes. The Pixie Perfect Collection prevents a foolproof way to enhance your beauty, natural beauty in five minutes with five botanically infused must-haves. We've got a CC crayon, um, like a correction one, Lash Boost Mascara, Sheer Cheek Gel, that'd be interesting to try. Love this, used this before, really, really nice. It's the Lip Lift Max. Does it have a shade? Yeah, sheer rose. And then the brow tamer, full size. Obviously you've got the um, smaller brow tamer in the glossy box this month as well. I feel like I'm due a bit of a PR organizer, maybe create some kind of giveaway, like hamper or something for someone. I did um, have a clear out not too long ago and I, I only like to give away products that I know that are sealed, new, they're good to go. So um, yeah, I have got a few things that after I did a bit of a clear out that I could do a giveaway or something at some point soon. So stay tuned for that on my socials. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's 
vlog I'm out and about here there and everywhere I know I was going to vlog into this evening but to be honest with you I actually have a lot of like email catch up and editing that I need to do for brands and stuff so I feel like I'm going to focus on that this afternoon maybe we could do some kind of an evening routine or something at some point within this month to kind of share with you my like ideal evening cozy routine I love a routine video even though they're shorter they take a long time to film and edit but it just gives you all the cozy feels so maybe we'll do that at some point soon but yeah I also just want to thank my vitamins for very kindly sponsoring today's video again just a reminder I will leave a link to them in my description box below along with my discount code Freya which will get you huge savings and also savings on the new limited edition Copperfield range which contributes towards giving charity I think it's a pound per um sale of those limited edition gummies the hair skin and nail ones that go to um yeah the charity so october is the month breast cancer awareness month it is so important check yourselves if you want to find out more about what copperfield do and their collaboration with my vitamins then um again check out that link below thank you to them for sponsoring today's video thanks to you guys for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys